Hi, I'm Larry Terry, Executive Director of the Welland Cooper Center for Public Service. The Welland Cooper Center for Public Service has been around a long time. It started in the heart of the Great Depression, and its intention was to improve local government through training and capacity building. Today our work focuses on people, empowering people, engaging with people, and training people to be effective leaders. The dedicated public servants working in local governments are ultimately the ones that will solve their own problems. Here at the Welland Cooper Center for Public Service, we aim to support them through data, training, and other capacity buildings to implement those ideas in their communities. Doing great things doesn't necessarily have great costs. There's a hunger for innovation. There's a, there's a hunger for new methodologies and new ways to tackle existing problems. The structural challenges in, in society today communicating those to elected bodies and navigating possible solutions. It's part art and I think coming up with a way of teaching that through SEI and, and, and the, the associated programs is really the core mission of, of making great leaders to help us navigate, sustain and thrive in changing times. Since I began this position in 2018, uh, one of my big priorities has been traveling around the state, whether that be in Southwest Virginia, Northern Virginia, Tidewater, and everywhere in between to learn as much as I can. In examining and in visiting these communities, one thing that has become really clear is that if there are transportation or economic development problems in one locality, the neighboring locality likely has similar problems and we feel that part of our role is to be a connector in that space to help leaders and uh, organizations to identify those things they do have in common in order to address those very complex yet connected issues that the public is facing. A common concern that I think not only faces the state of Virginia but I think across the country is how do we get our youth involved in and understand what public service is about? In response to that, we've crafted a high school leaders program within the Sorensen Institute to train the next generation of public leaders. This program has worked with the state and the General Assembly. Some of those students have gone on to pass mental health legislation at the state level. Uh, these kids who aren't even of voting age yet have still gotten the experience and have made the commitment to bring about change now. Something we believe in is that anyone from where they sit can be a public leader. The days of thinking government alone can or will solve all of our problems are long gone. In today's day and age, we've got to focus on networks. Public servants have to build collaborations with grassroots movements, nonprofits, community organizations, and educational institutions. And a lot of this has to be driven by empowerment and giving people access to the resources that they need in order to improve our world.